How's it going everybody? I'm Kevin. You know that feeling you get whenever the smell of fresh baked cookies comes wafting out of the oven and fills the room? Well, that's the feeling I get whenever it comes to telling you about fresh new digital releases on ChristianCinema.com, which is fantastic because that's exactly what I'm about to do on this week's episode of Christian Cinema Weekly. First up, we've got a film called Shooting Star. Shooting Star is a South African film about a teen piano prodigy with an overbearing father who doesn't want him to use his gift. The boy faces physical and relational challenges as he chooses which path in his life he will take. Shooting Star tells the story of forgiveness, the power of music, and the importance of developing your God-given gifts. The screen writer for the film, Stefan Ainslin, has a strong conviction that everyone has a talent from God, given to them for a purpose. He said in an interview, I always try to imagine a world where people are left to be themselves, to become who they were created for. I could see a happier world, hence me trying to inspire people to live their God-given talents. And if that's not a noble goal, I don't know what is. So be on the lookout for Shooting Star, which releases on Christian Cinema on June 1st. That's this Friday, so check it out. Next, we've got a film called The Heretic. Well, if nothing else, Rob Bell certainly is a polarizing figure when it comes to Christianity. The Heretic is a documentary that follows Bell closely over several years, documenting his evolving relationship with the Christian faith. If you like Bell, chances are you'll probably enjoy this film. Now, if you don't agree with him, Heretic still gives you a very interesting and thought-provoking peek into the life of this very controversial figure. And finally, we've got the film Eternal Salvation. Eternal Salvation is about investment banker Jonathan Wright, who has it all, but when he has a near-death experience, he's forced to re-examine his priorities. It's the story of a man who loses everything, but in the process, he gains something even greater. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is now time for our pick of the week, which happens to be King's Faith. Brendan King is a teenager with a troubled past who found Christ in a youth penitentiary. When released, he he finds support from his Christian foster parents and a solid group of friends who are believers at his school. But as great as his new life in this safe suburban neighborhood is, he can't seem to escape his old life. When the choices of his past begin to catch up with him, Brennan is left with a very serious and life-changing choice. If you're interested in this movie or any of these digital releases I mentioned today, be sure to check them out at ChristianCinema.com. And if you do check any of those movies out, especially some of the more controversial ones, I'd love to hear your thoughts about it in the comments below. Well, that's all I've got to say for today. Be sure to hit that subscribe button if you'd like to keep up with the latest and greatest news surrounding faith and film. I'm Kevin. Have a great week.